Hi, I'm Zin, and today I want to show you how I can make the base that offer customer free ebook or files after subscribe to the website and the information customer subscribe will be sent to MailChimp listing if you had a MailChimp account uh, so come back to the website I had a sample name and email right here when I click submit you will see the welcome message and the download file so client can download the file and save the file in anywhere in their computer you see the download file here and then when you go to the MailChimp account audience you can see the name and email I just submit will be shown in the listing of the MailChimp and this method is made really simple with Elementor so let's do it together right now I am in the back end of the website and first we need to go to the plugin and install one plugin we need for the tutorial uh, the plugin name extension for Elementor form you can click at new right here and search for this title uh, so the plugin will be look like this with the background image and the name is extension for Elementor form so I already download the plugin and right now I just need activate so this only one the plugin we need for this tutorial and it is free and the second one we need to set up is uh, because we need to connect it with the MailChimp so we can go to template sorry elementor setting interaction and then in the MailChimp ABI key just copy your ABI key right here uh, so if you don't know how to find the MailChimp ABI key I had a tutorial to show how to connect the MailChimp account with the form uh, so I will link the tutorial in the description below so come and check if you don't know and so right now we already have everything uh, I also create the base uh, so let's see I also create the base download and put it in the uh, in the home base uh, so right now we need to edit with Elementor and for this tutorial I don't need the header and footer so I just put uh, it to be the Elementor canvas so it will be removed the header and the footer for this tutorial because we just need focus to create the layout downloads BDF uh, update uh, first I think we need to create the title for the base um, first we need the title heading here uh, I already repaired the text so just copy and put it right here uh, this one I put it to be the X1 and put it in the center uh, for this section I think the high I will be make it to be maybe 100 100 big so high and the background make it simple should be black and the text I will make it to be white so that's it for the header and now the next section will be two column for the two column here I make the margin 100 pixel for the top and the bottom so for the bottom is we have another section it will be 100 pixel in the bottom and right here right here I already add the um, picture for the cover book so click here and I had a picture sample right here for the digital photography uh, for the left column I put it like 40 pixel 
uh, sorry 40% and the right side is 60% um, for the next one the right side column I put it 50 pixel you have the space um, the next one will be at the form so let's see we have the form right here and for the form we don't need message so we need name and email so people can submit this form and show the PDF file uh, after that we custom the the text right here I just change it to be submit and we will style the website a little bit so the label should be black and maybe this one should be 600 like that and then go to the button the button background should be black too um, for the typography we should put it uppercase and this one should be bold that's it um, that okay for me but like the form I don't think we should be 600 just 400 that's fine okay and for me that one is okay um, for the content because because we already installed the plugin so you can see this is the option we have right here and the next we will create the template but before that I think I need to put the title right here and some uh, sub description about before people submit the form so I need the text right here and it say subscribe us so I already prepared the text so it's make fast right here put the center put but in the black one um, or you can use another color sample here uh, just try to use another color the same with the picture okay I think this one is okay for me um, the title right now I will put it uppercase hmm, that's okay and another sub title here we will put the text under that here okay I will copy and paste here so when you copy and paste something you will see the gap in the bottom here so the check here you come to the text click click in the end of the text and click enter so it will remove the space in the bottom uh, go to the style center this and then put it to the black after that I need to increase the size a little bit because it's a subtitle for me this one will be okay um, click to the column setting here for the layout I think no click to the section here uh, layout and for the vertical I need the middle because like I want this to be the center high with the image so update okay so the second step we design the base uh, subscribe and after people subscribe uh, and then it show the the download BDF here uh, but we missing here is when you go to the um, when you go to the form you will see action after submit here so usually like we use that for the mail team because like when we submit um, they will register the mail team and list to the mail team account uh, so this is the mail team uh, for the mail team here because we already put the API key in the back end so I just need to choose my audience here and remember how to fill mapping here because we had the email here so we put is the email and first name is to be the name so we don't have the last name the last name is from the mail team but that's okay right now because we only need to fill here email and name and we 
another one is custom set message so that means we have to design the template right here and put the soft code right here uh, so after people submit the form will be disappear and so the message template so before that we need update here okay and then go back to the easy to dashboard um for this we go to the template no we go to the media first and see you can see here i already have the um, sample pdf right here uh the next one i will open another tab go to template team builder i open another tab here and i just want to switch to the table view it's more easy for me click to archive and add new archive for this one i can you can type in your name to remember uh, download pdf something like this and create templates you can type in any name you want so easy to remember create template we don't need this just make symbol for the templates we need the title uh, maybe title will be enjoy and then put it in the center uh, for the title i think i will choose another color to make it look different a little bit maybe a little bit like that and um for typography uppercase that's fine and we need the sub description here i already repaired the text so just need to copy and put it right here uh, for the text it's the same you see the bottom has a space here click in the end enter it's gone and go to the style uh, put this one to be black color is okay for me and make it in the center so the next one will be the button to download okay um, the text should be download file and the links so you open the media here you have the PDF file here uh, click PDF and you copy the whole link here but like for the trick like you don't need to copy the domain you just need to copy the the one behind the domain the slot and to the end so you can copy from here to the end copy because the website um, the elemental will remember and they know before this wb content here will be the domain so you don't need to copy any domain um, so that will really easy when you moving the website and the domain will be changed they they know that and then they just like replay the domain automatically so this script will be like the file download link here and then link option here you just click open new window So I put it in the center for the style. Uh, for this style, I want to change the color button to be another color, maybe this color. Uh, just because for the example, so I don't want to be silly about anything. Okay, download here, and then the typography I think is make up okay is better. Okay and then border no border that's it and when people hover the button is will become black that's it and public you don't need to add any condition here just save and close okay and then we come back again easy to the dashboard save template click all 
So the PDF right here, you will see download the PDF template right here. We have the soft code. So the next one will be copy the soft code here and put to the form. Uh, so go to Elementor, we visit the site. So this is the way we already designed. Click edit with Elementor again. And let you the form so we find the custom success message here and paste the form right here. Okay, update and now we can review what we did so far. So for the name, maybe I can type in Zine here, my name, and then any email you want. Like you can type in another email. Uh, just for the test and submit and voila you have enjoy and then people can download the file when people click this one is open another form sorry open the PDF and they can download the PDF right here to download to the desktop or anywhere um, set and then you have the PDF file here and you have the people submit right here Let's see, I go to the MailChimp. Go to my MailChimp login here. My go to, I go to my audience here. And you can see, I just log in here. And I can see like this one, the people who just subscribe my website and they can download the, the file. And it really simple step with one plugin. And you can get more subscribe for your business, for your uh, website, and then give them free um, BDF, free ebook, something. So this is one of the method I use for my client and I hope you like it. Um, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in my next video.